lads what is going on gone as usual and today i'm bringing you another episode of save or splash the cash this series just seems to be going amazing on my channel everyone seems to be loving it the amount of support comments likes everything i've been getting is just quality and really motivates me to bring more out i'm definitely going to keep bringing out one a week and uh this week we've obviously got as you can probably see on the screen already gabriel abongho Quite a controversial little player. He is silver this year and he is just ridiculously quick. As you can see from his stats, he has 93 pace. Wow, just wow. 74 dribbling, 72 shooting, 66 passing, 76 heading and 46 defending. And he will be up against Josh King who is another just amazing silver player who a lot of you may not know. A lot of you may not even know he plays for my not because I didn't know up until... I was doing this today. He is 90 pace, 72 dribbling, 61 shooting, 56 passing, 60 heading, and 39 defending. So two really, really good players up against it today, lads. Two really quick silver players. Of course, as usual, you know me, I'm going to bring you some in-game stats that you should be seeing on the screen now from a site called Footways. So go check them out. Their link will be in the description. Gabriel Abongo, first up. Look at these stats, man. Just look. This is one fast black, man. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. 91 acceleration, 75 agility, 94 sprint speed. Come on now. Give me a break. That's ridiculous. I'm not even joking. He is the fastest player I've ever witnessed in my life on FIFA. He's so fast. He's stupid. And then it gets backed up by the fact that he's got 83 strength as well that I talk about in the gameplay a little bit later. You'll see what I mean by that strength. It is He's just ridiculously strong. Going forward, there's no tugging this guy back. He also has 76 curve. 75 finishing, really, really good finish on him for a silver player. 76 heading and 78 shot power. Goes for around about 178k on, free, on the Xbox 360, so nearly 200k. He's really, really expensive. And 162k on PS3. Uh, unfortunately, he does only have a free stat. He's only free stat skills, free stat weak foot, but a beast. And his player traits are speed dribbling and he's injury prone. So that's a bong hole. What an absolute, what a monster, man. And he's going to be up against Josh King. You'll be seeing his in-game stats on the screen now as well. This guy really surprised me. And what you'll see from the gameplay, you'll know what I mean. He is, unfortunately, only a two-star weak foot and three-star skills again. But he has the high attack and work rate, so he's all, always around the right place at the right time, if you know what I mean. He has 86 acceleration, 80 agil agility. Right, can you spit my words out? And 92 sprint speed, which is just madness, man. These two are ridiculously fast. You can get it for around about 7k on the Xbox 360. And considerably more on PS3. He's double the price on PS3, so he's 14k. I don't know why. Maybe he's been price fixed or something. But uh, two amazing players. His player traits are speed dribbler, flare, tries to be the defensive line, and he's injury prone. So uh, we got two amazing players I got to show you here, lads. I'm going to get into the gameplay anyway, so you can uh, stop hearing me ramble on. So let's get into it. So we'll start off with Gabby Abongaho anyway, lads. And this guy, some of you might, might say straight up. Basically gone if you're paying 200k for nothing but pace. And that is one sexy chip right there. But, uh, yes, I'm, I'm not going to lie. He is. His main stat is just pace. But as you'll see here, when there's no defender on the game that can pretty much stop this guy, it, it's just non-stop fun. All you've got to do is one, two chip balls over the top. And I promise you, there is basically no one on the game who will catch him. He, has an, he actually has a decent left foot, as you'll see from some of those clips there. He's actually finishing on his... He does only have a freestyle weak foot, but he does somehow know how to finish on his left foot. He shows this weird sort of strength. He, he is quite strong, I'm not going to lie. And just bursting through the back line of defense, he has no problem. And his shot power is just... It is better than I actually thought. All around, as a player, he is he is just pace. He is pretty much just pace, I'm not going to lie. And he does have quite a lot of strength. But he's outside of his foot shot. I think he has the outside of his foot shot trait as well. And he just... He just knows how to finish, and it's strange because you have that that's Loris in goal there as well that he's just put on his ass. So that that's what I'm talking about. The sort of finishes this guy can pull off. But as soon as he's beyond the defender, they're pretty much nobody on the on the game. No single defender on the whole game is touching him. Unfortunately, he is only three star skills. Imagine him being five star skills, man. He'd probably be going for about 500k plus. But trust me, I haven't had this much fun with striker in ages. Look at him. He just can just breeze past any defenders. And there's another finish on his left foot. A nice little finesse. So, lads, I highly, highly recommend the Bongleho. If you, if you can afford him, trust me, go and get him. See what he's like. A nice little dink there again from him. And I, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This guy is just non-stop for non-stop pace. And actually comes with a decent shot as well. But uh, we'll move on anyway, lads. We are now on to the clips with Joshi. I like, I like to call him Joshi King. With, uh, this, this guy. He is slightly... 
there's a lot of similarities between him and Abongha, I'm not going to lie. They're both quick. They're both freestyle skills. Josh, 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 I can't even say his name. Josh King does only, unfortunately, have a freestyle weak foot, but trust me, this guy can finish. He has one of the most clinical finishes for a silver player I've seen in a long time. He can bang the ball from outside the box. There's no way his shot is what it says it is on the card, because as you'll see from some of these clips, look at these for finishes. Easy, just slamming it past the keeper with ease. He is such a beast, trust me. He, he's another one who can just break break straight past the last defender. And as soon as they commit for a slide tackle, he's gone. There's no catching him. And a nice little finish from him there. He can also finish. He proves he can finish. If he was five-star skills, another one, or even four-star skills, I think he, he'd be open for a lot more options. Maybe you could pull off a few more skill moves. But his pace and his aggression and his strength and his decent finishing makes him hands down one of the best bagging boys i've ever seen i know he's only a silver player but lad you need to remember when i'm playing i like to play myself up against gold teams to give myself more more of a challenge i like to play myself up against a few of my mates with better teams than me just to see how these silver these silver teams actually do perform and that is one hell of a finish what you've just seen there first time edge of the box he is just slammed there and this is what i mean Th these two players are just it's so hard to pick a winner because i know a bongo is a hundred and something odds K more. But a Bonghor is does slightly edge it. But then Josh King for the price. I mean, look at these for finishes. Just an absolute beast. But we're on to the final goal with him now. And this is a lovely little finish. Just a nice little bit of agility in the box. And a beautiful front post finish pass. I'm not sure who that is in goal. But lads, of course, there has got to be a winner. And I hope you've enjoyed all these clips. It took me quite a while to put them together. But there's got to be a winner. And to be honest, I am going to have to go with a Bonglehor simply because there's nobody on the game who can catch this guy. When it, I've seen from footage, the amount of footage I've played over the last three days, a Bonglehor, when he's past that last defender, there's nobody on the single game who can tug him back or catch him. He's that strong and fast. And his, his finish is pretty fucking deadly, I'm not going to lie. So it's going to have to go to a Bonglehor, lads. But um, as usual, I've been getting a lot of a lot of just really, really good positive feedback from these episodes. So I hope you've enjoyed. And remember to leave it a thumbs up if you have. Leave me a comment on the next two plays you'd like me to do. I, I always take them into consideration. And uh, hopefully I'll speak to you next time, lads. So uh, peace.